Hello, how, how is everyone doing? Welcome. I'm having trouble saying words today. I'm Angry Larry. Welcome to the second Hopeless Invitational Tournament, the semifinals of the winner's bracket. Uh, pretty much everyone in chat doesn't know what that feels like. These are the people that have moved on and are playing for the championship. Uh, it's Dig Shake and Buzz Thunder in this semifinal round. How's everyone doing tonight? Do we honestly think Dig Shake has a chance here? Or do we think he, he positively mailed this one in? Buzz says he's giving me audio only. I'm thanking him in chat. Buzz has a sub-22. Dig Shake's best time is 24.04. Uh, anything can happen. Buzz may be trying to crush Dig Shake, or sorry, hose Dig Shake, and uh, may go for some uh, additional time-saving strategies and wind up uh, taking a death. His power could go out. His internet will probably go out, and he'll probably beat the game, let's be honest. But nevertheless, we hope Dig Shake makes this. Dig Shake's only goal in this tournament is not to be in the loser's bracket. And then after that, he's just like, you know what? I don't even want to play an extra game. I'm out. But most of us worked very hard to get into the winner's bracket. So we're going to take uh, especially good care to, to, to provide a good race for everybody here. The, uh, the second semifinal, Link Sevens versus Angry Larry, will definitely not be a one in, uh, be a situation where one of the guys just mails it in for no reason. BGT brings up a good point. Of the four people in the loser's bracket, three of them are from California. So I just need to uh, remind people about that fact. Thank you very much, BGT. Dig Shake, what is the second game on tap? Ninja Gaiden 2? So Buzz Thunder is going to beat you twice in games he's uh, practiced all of his life? So rules of the tournament dictate that the winner of this game obviously moves on to the championship, but win or lose in the championship... Uh, they get to nominate the game we play next month. So we'll have the the winner, the runner-up, and then a random person in the loser's bracket. 75% chance that person's from California. will be able to nominate a game for next month, and we'll probably take care of that uh, by Thursday, I, I would assume. Because there's going to be a GDQ coming up. Uh, Buzz Thunder is going to like Missouri to for an Eddie Money concert or something like that. So we'll get that all squared away uh, prior to these vac vacations people are taking. The winner of tonight pick a game. The loser has to play. I, as far as I know, Artie, there's no addition, and it's shocking. There's no additional bet on the table here. No additional incentive. Uh, Buzz has not come out and said, hey, Dig Shake, I'll bet you $50 or whatever Buzz does. But we do know this. Uh, neither of these runners has to do a humiliation stream as a result of this tournament. And uh, neither the guy who forfeited the first two matches, by the way. The uh, st Cinderella story of a lifetime. We're going to do a, a chronological recap of that on uh, on this stream uh, sometime later on in the week. Buzz is already talking that uh, he wants to he wants to poll people and ask what game he should make Coach to play. So in Buzz's mind, Buzz already won this tournament, and Coach already finished last. But remember, last month, Buzz was asking uh, what game he should make Joshy D play. And Buzz not only did not win the tournament, Joshy D was not the ultimate loser as well. A 
Hey, Joshy D is a trooper this time. Joshy D even beats somebody who's in the winner's bracket. That really wasn't making fun of uh, myself, BGT. I was actually putting myself on a pedestal, overcoming the odds and all that stuff. But yeah, who's hyped for this match? Yeah, let's go. Team D Dig Shake, am I right? Dig Shake is not wearing the hat. Buzz doesn't even want to put his uh, caterpillar mouth cam on. Both both players taking this very seriously. Oh, you can jump up to that middle platform in one motion. I just saved two seconds right there. That's a typical choke me I like an answer. Everyone's rooting for Dig Shake. Dig Shake has got to be feeling the pressure. He's nervous. He's ready to go. So we'll go ahead and we'll... Uh... We'll get set up here. Buzz is still practicing. It is eleven. It is twelve thirty. Eleven thirty his time. I think he realizes that now. Let me know if you can hear me over the audio. BGT has a great attitude right now. Runners are both ready. They'll be starting pretty soon. Hopefully, I didn't forget anything important here. Three DB, got it. And we're off A one. Let's take a little st stroll through suburban uh, Australia, wh whatever. Buzz Thunder looking at those Taz strats right there. Ops to get flight first, then the bombs. Big Shake has both already. Buzz has about a screen lead right now. Takes the lower path. Big Shake goes on the upper path. But Buzz will be arriving in the second part of the stage uh, sooner. So one of the things, Joshy D, that uh, I've been informed in, informed of the last 24 hours is that there's a lot of lag reduction you can do in this game. And it starts instantly by killing enemies. And not just kill, show, having enemies show up on the screen all at one time. It's killing them and having the rest of the level play out faster as a result. Taking fewer gems as opposed to all the gems in like kind of a reverse... Uh, mind trip there is another thing but it doesn't document which ones to take and which ones not to take the gruesome twosome but it has a uh, about a phase lead right now gets a relatively quick kill see how dig does dig misses a bomb there misses another bomb this is where it gets a little bit tricky for bosses you get in that rhythm of missing bombs. Three bombs missed by Dig Shake. As Buzz uh, strolls through A2 right now. There's a fourth bomb missed by Dig Shake. And according to splits, Buzz Thunder did that one about 20 seconds quicker. Uh, I don't know, BGT, what the gems matter, but in the document for the test that Link 7's... Uh, linked me to the guy notes that in taking fewer gems the game had less lag I think Shake gets caught in the quicksand there has to jump up there's a lot of places here you can lose time 
One of them being coming up right here with Buzz, getting hit by that weight. Nobody gets hit by that weight. Another one here is when he goes on top of this platform, this guy takes damage to go around him. That guy is in sync to just mess you up. You can jump and float over him, but it's very pixel frame specific, I think. I haven't been able to do it once, but in the world record and the task, obviously they do it. Uh, let me kill this bot. Here's the uh, army surplus. So, fun fact of the TV show: this uh, this dude, the army surplus, uh, is the name of the the tank, was never referenced to in the show by name, other than being in the opening credits. One of two vehicles that uh, that happened to. Big Shake having a hell of a time here, getting up on the platform. He finally does it. Not too far behind. Just one full boss uh, boss battle away. Guess it's kind of tradition to add the joke here that Buzz is playing this run blind right now. And Dig should be playing with a paper bag over his head. But there he goes. He gets out of there 423 to, to um, Buzz Thunder's 348. So I'm just trying to do math in my head. That's 35 seconds. Lead. We have not been marking that. Thank you, BGT. I think Buzz uh, took a wrong turn there and didn't realize he had to get up higher on that platform and then turned around. I don't see any other reason to do that unless he's just timing out the enemies so they don't touch him. Seems like a time loss strategy, but what do I know? Buzz beat me by 48 minutes. That's how Dick Shake handles that jump. Definitely a spot where Dick Shake can save some time. And look at that. Look how much better he handled that. That's a two second side time save. The Buzz Wagon. Cycle 2, this has become one of the easier bosses for, uh, for me in practice. You can just stand there in the second phase and just keep throwing the bombs right at the wall time it out with the jumps if you miss one he'll just move a little bit left miss two he moves even further left it's no big deal it's a very quick kill once you realize the pattern all bosses are in this game as we're finding out in the uh, at least in the winner's bracket part you know because there's four people in the winner's bracket they all seem to be fighting bosses very well except for maybe one person and I'll uh I won't call out any names, but Dick Shake's on the second part of the boss here. Let's see how he does this. He's got to be careful. Okay, he does refill his health. We've all been there before. We've had the health refill, and we've been waiting for it, and then we just never pulled the trigger in time. But he's a winner's bracket guy, so he doesn't make mistakes like that. Buzz taking the lower path path of least resistance. Dig Shake just went to C1. Dig Shake right here is throwing a Hail Mary. And he's like, Buzz may be ahead of me right now, but I'm just going to skip three levels and go right to C1. Let's see if this works out for him. This means Dig Shake has now taken the lead.
You know that dick shaking, not practicing, had something planned, and this was it. But he knows that Buzz wouldn't be watching the restream anyway to play mind games with him. It's worth noting there's extra menuing involved. Uh, no pause. The, the rule book states that you can do the game in any order. You just have to beat the game, and the game won't let you win unless you clear all zones. So it's not like he's going to beat C and then the game you're going to get the game over screen. It's going to make him go to B. The only rule in the rule book was we had to play the uh, the US version. As Buzz moves on to B2, Dick Shake is going to be moving on to C2. In just a second here. Still only a half of a, a boss fight lead for Buzz. But Dick Shake is almost out of life there, but he barely makes it and he moves on. He's just going to mess up his splits and go right to the end. So we're not going to have that uh, luxury of saying when he does and doesn't beat a level compared to when Buzz does. One of the more frustrating parts of this water level is getting hung up on the quarter corners. Because it's your natural instinct is to start swimming diagonally. And you can really you can only go in the four cardinal directions when you're swimming. So you get caught up a little bit on the corners. I gotta tell you, I, I I'm kind of rooting for this strategy to work. And not just because he's playing Buzz. Because that's going to be a lot of fun, actually. Alright, boss. Uh, Buzz makes it to the boss of B2. Uh, Pat, pending. But is it the converter car, BGT? Like, what's converter about it? Like, I need to know the lore behind this guy's car. You can get three hits per cycle. You can get four if you take the... Four or five if you take the damage boost. I think Dick Shake really needs boss, uh, Buzz to trip up on a boss, if not make a few mistakes. This is one of the levels Buzz can make a mistake on. Especially playing it mostly blind like he is. Makes it through the first pitfall area. See how he does on this second one here. I've never found a way to consistently make this. Okay, I guess you just launch it bomb on top of the platform. Okay, it's interesting to know. And then this is one of the last jumps here. And he makes it through. I do opt to take a couple seconds there on that last jump. I'm not confident enough to throw the bomb as I'm jumping. It works about 20% of the time for me. So this does set Dig Shake up for his uh, last level to be Candyland. I bet Buzz is trying to go for a, uh, a PB here. I mean, obviously, I guess we're all trying to go for PBs when we play. Penelope Pit Stop. I know Buzz doesn't really like this boss too much. Dick Shake thinks it's the easiest boss in the game, and, and in terms of uh, safety, she definitely is, but in terms of getting a quick kill, I would say definitely not. I would say hardest boss in the game. 
but speaking of easiest bosses in the game, here's uh, the Arkansas Chugabug. First phase throws no projectile. Second phase throws a projectile when he gets in the mid middle. Uh, the one, the one thing BGT about this boss is the timing of his jump down here. I feel like I'm waiting too long. I got, I can, I feel like I could do that better. But Buzz is on C1 now. Dig Shake is on C4. Both players do have four, four levels left to go. I think it's hung, hung up there a little bit. Oh, no. Oh, no. Get it under control, sir. I would agree that Dig Shake has easier levels left. I don't know. Some of the levels in C are, are, are walk right. Whereas in B, you have, uh, you know, Candyland for sure. Yeah, Buzz definitely knows the quick kill on all the bosses, and that's going to be a, a determining factor in this race. Both players are deathless. walk right BGT I'll agree but the, it has jumps where I don't think in C you really have too many terrible jumps oh dig shake takes a death at the end here just before Captain Caveman and Son Yeah, it is worth note that Buzz's uh, timer, he is about 34 seconds under PB pace. Big Shake gets a little bit of an Eiffel Tower right there, but he's managed to get, at, he get out of it. Does get hit by the trollfish. I guess we can call that that in this game. Yeah, Artie, I think that one spot where we questioned his decision was the only place he really messed up. I wonder if he's done anything differently in terms of lag reduction. This is my new thing. Uh, to, to arrive at these splits because I don't remember him barking at bark killing the enemies the last time I seen him play the game dude shave shave 30 seconds off your run ask me how my aunt saved 30 seconds by reducing lag click this link Buzz is now 43 seconds under PB pace. I mean, sub 21 is real right now for Buzz. And this is one of the levels I was talking about, BGT, where I thought it was easier than anything in B. Because you can stay on that bottom path for days until the level is over. Yeah, with that death, he is definitely a whole level ahead. 
There are so many levels that are tough when you lose your power-ups. Especially if you have to take a long jump without the flight hover ability. When practicing, I started not... Oh, Dig Shake, you know the whale is there, dude. It's all you've complained about since you started playing this game. I think here is one of the ones where without the hover ability, you're going to have to make a pretty hard jump coming up. And he's not going to be able to go that way. Nope. Leap of faith. Yeah, Buzz definitely has boss strategies down. Boss strategies and maybe a little bit of awareness about lag reduction. And he's 50 seconds off PB pace. He is 1838 heading into the last stage here. Where it normally takes him three minutes to complete. No, I'm sorry. That changed the splits. Never mind. But he is 50 seconds uh, down on his uh, PB pace. This is the area where Dick Shake messed up on in the stage. Buzz gets right through it. I'm in the I'm in the pocket of big lag. Buzz actually did that part of the stage better than the practice round he did before uh, he started this race. I'm so invested in watching this that... Alright, here we go. You're going in 20 minutes and 7 seconds into the last boss. Better not pull a choke. Or, I'm sorry, better not choke, I should say. Get on to the second phase here. 20-25. Oh, he misses the bomb, though. Takes a hit. Can't afford to take three more, but uh, he should be fine. Did he miss another bomb there? And there you have it. Fastest time at a tournament so far. 20 minutes, 39 seconds. See Dick Shake's reaction when he finds out. That's one minute and seven seconds saved right there on his PB, by the way. He saved 15%. I'm not too sure. I have to double check that. Okay. I am back on Mike. I'm going to go join Larry. He's back on Mike. He's going to go join me, but we'll wait for that. No spoilers. I'm going to mute his stream and then we'll, we'll, we'll talk on, on my stream here. I wonder if I can sucker him into playing Super Mario Brothers right now just to see if he can beat Wacky Races and Super Mario Brothers in the time it takes Dig Shake to beat Wacky Races. Hello, Larry. Hello. Uh, am I am I welcome in here? Uh, yeah, I mean, pretty decent run there. 
thank you. Yeah, I think he did a couple things uh, pretty well. Uh, how did you save a minute and seven seconds? Uh, well, again, uh, I have averages up. Okay. So, honestly, I only saved two seconds. My best before that run was a 20-40. All right, we had chat lit because of how yeah. much time you were saving. So oh, I, okay. I feel like I was kind of letting, I kind of let them down right now. You let them down. We all <laughs> let them down right now. I'm sorry. Well, when it comes to these races and these tournaments, uh, I always have averages up because, you know, I'm just racing against somebody else. So I want to see, you know, I guess, I don't know. It's it's really skewed on this one just because I haven't done that many runs. Right. And I think this is what your fourth race and uh, you went into the first one blind. So you've only done four completed runs right now. Well, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, so you didn't no, say, I, you didn't save a total minute seven seconds. So my whole dream of you doing boss battles better and reducing lag uh, was just a myth. Uh, but... uh, yeah, well, I mean, I I did. I mean, I I still made a, a handful of like little mistakes. I think if I did everything right, probably would have been a twenty thirty, maybe a little less. But uh, yeah, by no means did I <laughs> shave a minute off my best time. Is there any truth to the rumor you're going to fire up Super Mario Brothers right now and see if you can beat Super Mario Brothers in the time that it takes Big Shake <laughs> to beat the rest of this game? Uh, there's no way he's that far behind. Uh, he is entering Penelope Pit Stop right now. Are you serious? I am, I'm dead serious. I mean, you can pull up my stream and, uh, and find out. Wow, what happened to Dig Shake? Uh, he took C before B. Oh, okay. Well, that makes, that makes a lot more sense then. <laughs> Very good. He was Why on, did he do that? I, I don't know. He was on the ice stage, and I look at you, and you're not on an ice stage. And I'm just like, man, I don't remember that being the second half of this level. Well, actually, oh, I don't okay. remember I that see. being the first half of this level. And then I see Dick Shake laughing, and I'm like, oh, God, he took C. Uh, he swapped it after A. Do you think he did that on purpose? Uh, basing, based on how he was laughing, probably not. <laughs> I'd say, yeah, for the sake of a restream, that just kind of... That kind of ruins the whole thing, because then you kind of have no idea where anybody is. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, more or less. But uh, it's, you know, it's still comparing uh, levels to levels. I don't know. Some levels are longer than the others, but I don't really know how true that is. Yeah, you could you could keep it pretty close on a level-to-level -level basis. But, yeah, but yeah that's unfortunate. Yeah, then he destroyed his split, so I couldn't even do, like, Buzz entered this level at 8 minutes, and Dick Shake entered at 10.02. Like he oh, just, yeah. Yeah, he totally sabotaged the stream. Yeah. But uh, how, how much do you think That's he practiced? That's shake for you. Yeah, how much do you think he practiced for any of this? Uh, Almost none, I would guess. Uh, We can ask him right now. Hello, Dick Shake. How are you? Hey, what's up? Not much. Take us through the selection process of B and C, if you would. Um... C comes before B? I, I believe so. Uh, obviously, accident, or did you intend to do that just to screw with us? Um, which one makes for the better story? Uh, either one. No, it was, it was an accident. I didn't mean to do it. I didn't, I didn't mind it, though, when it happened. I was actually perfectly okay with it. So. I'm, now, I'm very surprised at how common that is because we have seen it more than once in this tournament because <laughs> I, I just yeah doesn't everybody just mash uh, the a button when they're like going through the selection because that's what i do i gotta tell you Let's... what i i do too but there was one time i was practicing yesterday morning where for some reason i just decided to flick the deep pad for no reason like just have a spasm and it just selected the next level like i, I did it at the perfect time for it to just go to an be selected for the next level and then i was like yeah. jesus game is all about holding right though so i'm seriously holding right down the whole time basically and that's what happened now that's the only time where you get to give your thumb a little bit of a rest is in that in, in this stage selection you know what I, i'm the most salty about that death in c4 i don't even know how that happened uh but that just put me on tilt for the whole rest of the race i was so pissed Oh, right at the end where you have to hover underneath that one block and above that uh, the vulture, and then you just kind of lose it there. I want to go back and watch because uh, when that happened, I was genuinely shocked. Like I have no idea how that even happened. I Did you hit the so, bird. 
no, he kind of hit the he hit the the wall and didn't make the platform where the signs on, and then maybe you just let go of hover because you thought you were going to land, and then you just dropped right to the to the ground. I do I I I've died there several times, so I wouldn't be shocked. I wasn't shocked when you did it. It's one of the the those places I had to overcome, but kind of kind of tricky, and and you do it easily so many times, and then just you know it only takes one. Yeah. I mean, uh, you know, the last two or three races, I feel like I was on PB pace for about half of it, and then I do something stupid. And like, even even this run with that horrible death, I finished in, you know, 47. So I was easily on PB pace before, before I died there. That's what makes me upset. So buzz, GG Buzz. Thank you, Dick Shake. Buzz, you move on to the championship game. Hooray. So you get a pick here. I know you're going to see Eddie Money over the weekend. So you're not going to... Uh, yeah. yeah, Eddie Money, that's right. So you're not going to be around. Um, Actually, House of Pain is playing that night, too. I might go see them. <laughs> so you got that's not a joke. That's not a joke. I'm not I'm not laughing at that. I was laughing at the joke <laughs> I was going to say because I cracked myself oh. up. But forget it. It's, <laughs> timing is ruined now. But uh, you have a you have a pick for for next month's uh, to thing here. Are you going to uh, give us a little bit of an exclusive here and announce it now, or are you going to keep us uh, guessing for a couple of days? Oh, I got to keep you guessing because I don't one hundred percent know. Because uh, I know after my first race, you asked me if I was going to uh, stick with the television theme. Um, in that case, I, I guess I would pick one of the Flintstone games. Uh, but I also didn't really want to do that just because it seems a little bit too similar to this as like a cartoony, probably a overly simple game. But I mean, other than that, there's not a lot of all the all the NES games that are TV based are cartoons other than American Gladiators. But I do not want to pick that game. Dick Shake, we're keeping it uh, Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Nintendo Genesis, right? Or will we only keeping it Nintendo? Super Nintendo or Genesis or I, I don't know how easy it is to emulate like N64 games. I imagine it's not that hard, but N64 has too much of a library that that doesn't emulate well, so it wouldn't be worth it. But it's also on how how many people in the tournament can actually uh, emulate some consoles because you know not everyone's on Windows. A Turbo Graphics game or something wouldn't be totally out of the question. Uh, I don't. I don't know how many people stream only on console through like a retro USB. Like I don't know Joshi's setup in the office. But, yeah, uh, that that's a good point. Yeah, so Joshi doesn't emulate. I'm not opposed to emulating if necessary, but if that's something that people are concerned about, then we can. Well, it's certainly. Just, yeah, I mean, it's ease of convenience for them in their in their native streaming surroundings. I guess would be the only limitation. But uh, I'll ask him later what he can and can't do, and then we'll uh, we'll adjust for the month after for variety. Well, I mean, anybody who's streaming is doing it through a computer, so that shouldn't be any problem at all. Well, I mean, you're using the computer and streaming at the same time. It takes away a lot of, especially if it's a laptop, it takes away a lot of uh, affordability when it comes to doing other things at the same time. Well, Josh D has a Mac, too, so it's like... You know what? What can you even do with one of those things? You can left click. Yeah. Actually, you can only click. <laughs> or you can load Windows onto it and talk about how you always use your Mac with uh, Windows. And you, you, you say, did say Microsoft sucks at the same time. You cannot play Zelda Two Randomizer. That's for sure. <laughs> oh man. So what's next for you guys? Dig Shake, you're out of the tournament. What's I'm uh, done. I... Oh, shit. What, That's what's, right. What's next for you, man? Plug some stuff here. Uh, I have really wanted to play Indiana Jones and the, the Fate of Atlantis, so I'm going to probably try and do some of that. No one cares about your personal stuff. What about Pinball Done Quick and the Z2 Randomizer tournament? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> you don't sound terribly excited about that. 
No, I'm excited. I'm just tired. I'm really tired today. I had a long ass day at work. And that's um, why you lost, right? Do you want a rematch? Do you think Buzz will give you a rematch because you were too tired? No, no, no. I tried to get um, I tried to get Buzz to play Super Mario Brothers as soon as he was done to see if he can beat Wacky Races and Super Mario Brothers in the time you finished Wacky Races. But uh he wouldn't do it. He to his credit, he wouldn't do it. So I heard that and it, it, he wouldn't have been able to. I mean I was only I only had one stage. Left. Are you telling him he cannot beat Super Mario Brothers and Ola Del Boca Vista? <laughs> <laughs> I'd have to beat it in four minutes and eight seconds. <laughs> All of Del Boca Vista. <laughs> Buzz Buzz, what are you up to, man? What are you what are you guys doing tonight? And where can people watch it? I I was I was under the impression that we were gonna race Ninja Gaiden two, but that doesn't seem like it's gonna happen. Anything along those lines, I was fully planning to load that up. Okay, yeah, we can do that. Otherwise, uh, otherwise, I if you didn't want to do that, I was gonna suggest a, a Zelda two race. Um, that but sounds, I was just gonna. That sounds good probably, to me too. I was probably just gonna cancel it before it started. And then the chat. I don't get that. <laughs> you don't get that? Isn't that like the hot topic? <laughs> it's kind of the dead horse now, almost. Oh, really? Yeah. I, I yeah. still I still enjoy it because I'm still like, I w it was funny. I was in Double A's chat talking to him about it earlier. Did he blame you for it? No, he blamed himself. Oh. Did did he turn that right around and then start blaming everyone in his chat? <laughs> <laughs> it did not happen that way. Okay. No, he was very, very humbled by the thing. No, maybe somebody said something to him and it resonated into his mind that maybe he <laughs> said a few wrong things and, and feels bad about it. Chat's I feel lit that up right should, now with uh, Cancelgate. This thing's this can thing's trending. Cancelgate? This thing's yeah, trending. it is. I think I noticed that on Yahoo. The Yahoo search said that was like trending number four. Who uses Yahoo Search? <laughs> that was the Is joke Alta Larry. Vista down or something? <laughs> well, I, my Netscape uh, browser works better on the Yahoo website. Did I tell you that I tried to download Netscape because when I was oh. doing my website, AngryLarryGaming.com, I uh, oh. I wanted to use the utility built in the Netscape Composer because every single stupid utility I found that was made in like 2016. Like, wouldn't let me just take font and change font. I had to do it some stupid CSS way, like some, like in, in source code or whatever. Like, I just wanted to click, t like, I wanted a, a true what you see is what you get experience. So I looked up Netscape Navigator, like, to, 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 to find it. And something called came up called Sea Monkey. And they're like, it's Netscape for 2007. Dude, it is Netscape. Like, the way the, the, the web pages load. The, the utilities built in like it was so awesome i wanted to start downloading like aol 3.0 after that <laughs> like i really wanted to just go full retro on my computer <laughs> still have one of those like 50 hour free cds that you got in the mail bro i was at my parents house when i was collecting my games to bring back to to my place and i had binders of playstation books because i destroyed all the jewel cases and put them in like you know big cd binders and then I had one that was all like computer software. The first seven pages are like AOL discs. I collected like one of every version, and it's in this <laughs> book. Like it's the freaking museum of AOL CDs. Uh, I like that. It's the dumbest thing in the world. Dick Shake, what is your favorite operating system? Uh, what kind of a question is that? But don't you, just, dude? This is my stream. <laughs> this is twitch.tv slash Angry Larry. You don't question my questions, buddy. <laughs> Like trying to top the banter from last night. You got to start talking about like to... who you hung out with in high school and that kind of shit. I like Linux. Dick Chick, uh I'm sorry, Buzz. What about you? <laughs> what What about me? What is your favorite operating system of all time? Um, I uh, rebuilt my computer backwards and I use Linux uh, inside out Macintosh. Is this like, am I the only person that doesn't use, Countess, what do you use? Because am I the only person that doesn't use Linux? I feel like I am now. No, I was I was just making fun of those people. I use, uh, I have actually Windows 8. That's like the worst operating system ever, man. I'd rather you have Lin Linux. <laughs> it works fine for me. Oh, boy. All right, what are you guys doing, Ninja Gaiden or uh, Zelda 2? 
Uh, I'm down either way, whichever whichever Dig, ends up happening. Dig Shake, pick a number, one to ten. <laughs> uh, seven. All right, Buzz Thunder gets my host. Thanks, everyone, for joining us. <laughs> uh, Buzz Thunder moves on to the championship match. Uh, Dig Shake loses and goes home, but he'll be back next month. Don't worry. And uh, I wish both of you uh, the best of nights and, and good luck in your uh, race coming up. Thanks, Larry. No problem. Thank you. You got it. That was Buzz Thunder winning with a time of 20 minutes and 38 seconds over Dig Shake. Uh, Buzz Thunder will move to take on the winner of Larry, Angry Larry, we won't get formal, versus Link Sevens. And that match may happen Wednesday or uh, Thursday night, hopefully. I'll uh, communicate with Link and we'll find out. We have a loser's bracket, though, an ultimate loser's bracket to determine who our ultimate loser is. Choke Me I Like It's going to take on Coach Crab. And who knows when that match is going to happen. And BGT takes on Joshy D. It's uh, BGT versus Joshy D3. And there is a tagline to this match, so let's get it right. It's heavy hitter in the shitter. Uh, BGT versus Joshy D3. So hoping that. Link, I would like to do it Thursday night if you can. So if you can uh, just hit me up on Discord with the times you're available. Uh, I'm available pretty much any time after 10 p.m. Eastern time. So everyone else, make sure you schedule the matches because we have GDQ coming up and uh, the Zelda 2 tournament. And we want to get this wrapped up by Monday uh, at the latest and July 4th weekend and all, and all that. So, um, yeah, so that's about it for us. Stay tuned for more nonsense uh, somewhere. The other semifinal match, the championship match, and then the ultimate losers match. This is Angry Larry. Uh, have a good night. <laughs>